Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and today I want to show you an update with the hydroponic ground cherry plant. This plant was planted from seed sometime around in the beginning of July, so it's about almost two months old and it's looking quite beautiful. Look at how nice and large this plant looks. Let's actually look these lights up a tiny bit so we can get a close up of the top. Look at that. A whole lot of beautiful greenery. And if this is the first time you're watching the, my episodes with the ground cherry plant, the reason why some of these leaves look brown like this is because it ran out of hydroponic nutrients for about a day or two. And some of the leaves began to wilt away and shrivel up. So I cut all of those away and everything you see here is nice beautiful new growth and I've noticed actually because that happened that was basically the plant almost I would say trimming itself and because that happened I have a whole bunch of new side growth coming in this one on the bottom here as well as I see a whole lot of new flowers being formed and it looks like there's even more flowers this time around as opposed to the first time I was growing because of all these new side growths it's going to be a whole lot of branches over here look at this, everywhere I lift I see flowers forming so hopefully all of these will take and oh wait, I could actually see back here there's a flower that already blossomed and it's about to close up soon. I'll show you what it looks like. And right here, I have two beautiful lanterns that are forming and ripening right now. Soon they should be falling off. I know because I came in this morning and I have two ground cherries that fell. So what I'm going to do is basically take these, just put them somewhere on the side in a shady place somewhere that with natural lighting nothing no full sun exposure and it'll continue to ripen up and I'll show you a picture of what it looks like when they're ripe and you could also tell by the husk this husk over here is going to dry up and it's going to be very dry but the berry most of all instead of being a green color like it is now it's going to be a nice yellow, almost golden yellow, so it's going to look quite nice and it should have a nice smell to it as well. So we're going to be trying that as soon as they're ready and saving some seeds. And both of these are rather small at the moment and I know the reason why is because these were the two that grew in a little bit deformed. Normally the, the ground cherries on the inside of the husk, these are how both of these were growing. I'm sure some of you have seen it as it was growing from seed. I've showed this a few times in episodes. So for now, I have two berries. So that's this is technically my first ground cherry harvest. And soon enough, hopefully I have some more. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And if you like the episode, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe maybe. Thanks for watching.